own Levada and I affirm my heritage. So my journey with my hair started young. I had two other siblings, two sisters. We used to get our hair pressed, like almost a ritual every week or every two weeks where we would get our hair washed. My mom, she would press our hair. So literally press the coils out, the, 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 the kinkiness. I always had hair challenges. My hair was considered peasy or I'm not, I'm not sure if you've heard of that before, but peasy. And my mom was constantly putting potions, what I call potions and lotions together to help my hair grow. In, in particular, uh, I remember she used this uh, from a bottle called Glover's Mane and it smelled like bacon. And I had to have my hair like straight. That was just like straight was the best, right? And then it rained one morning on the way to school and my hair like literally shrunk. And that was like torture. You know, you're in high school, you're a freshman. And I remember I went to school with plaques in my hair because I could not stay home from school. And that was the ridicule. I was the ridicule. Never embrace, never embrace, almost trauma, hair trauma, just the, the trauma of our hair. The year uh, 2011, and, and I'll never forget this. I was basically hair cursing. That's what I'm gonna call it. I was cursing my, my coils. I was washing my hair and I couldn't get it together. I, I remember it makes me kind of emotional because the words that I heard back in my spirit I'm gonna get a perm and this, that, and the other. And I think I said something negative over my hair. And I literally heard this scripture. It was a biblical scripture and it was like, his hair is like wool. And I remember going to find that scripture and it was a uh, depiction of what God would look like. I realized metaphorically that I'm black on purpose. My hair is the texture it is on purpose. And I needed to be liberated from your hair is peasy, is coily, the lotions, the potions, and all of those things. And I needed to celebrate my hair and um, build a relationship with it so that I could go forward as a confident woman showing up as myself, not switching, not centering around what looks like for anyone else in the room as long as it feels good for me. And so that's why that word affirm, I affirm my hair because I'm in a relationship with her. I'm excited for my hair journey.